Brian Flores' attorneys released this statement early Monday evening. Mr. Flores is happy to hear that the Texans have hired a black head coach, Lovey Smith, as Mr. Flores' goal in bringing his case is to provide real opportunities for black and minority candidates to be considered for coaching and executive positions within the NFL. However, we would be remiss not to mention that Mr. Flores was one of three finalists for the Texans' head coaching position, and after a great interview and mutual interest, it's obvious that the only reason Mr. Flores was not selected was his decision to stand up against racial inequality across the National Football League. Adam Schefter joins us now, already out in California uh, in advance of the Super Bowl coverage all week long. And as it relates to this topic and, and, and that statement right there from uh, Flores, just to start, he was a finalist, right? Certainly a, a candidate with the Texans and New Orleans as well. And I wonder, Adam, your perception of the Flores lawsuit and how mm -hmm. it impacted the decisions that were made in terms of the coaching hires in Miami, New Orleans, and also now the Texans. Well, good evening, Scott, and I think it did have some sort of impact. It's difficult to ascertain exactly how much, but you cannot say that it didn't impact the searches in Houston, Miami, and New Orleans to a certain degree. Now, if we go to Miami, Miami goes and hires Mike McDaniel, who considers himself to be multiracial. You get the Houston Texans, who hire Lovey Smith, their assistant head coach. Essentially, you drop the assistant from his title, and you make him the head coach. And then the New Orleans Saints went with the man that I think a lot of people expected all along, Dennis Allen. So the lawsuit really didn't impact New Orleans as much. But you can't look at the other two and think that it had no impact at all because that would be incorrect, Scott. I think we all understand that there were, you know, there were, there were candidates that the Texans liked that Josh McCown, most notably, uh, that didn't get the job. He's never been a head coach. Lovey Smith clearly has. But you and I talked, and the term placeholder was used for David Culley, who, who got an opportunity and I think did better than a lot of folks thought he could, given his, uh, the, yep. the circumstances that he inherited. But he didn't get really anything other than a year. So what's the sense of the commitment here to Lovey? Well, what I would say is that when the Texans started their search, I think there were a lot of people across the league who thought that that search – ultimately would lead them to Josh McCown. And I think it was tracking that way until that lawsuit was filed. And it would have been very hard for the Houston Texans to basically make that move, hire somebody who's never coached at the NFL level, despite the fact that he played 18 years for nine different teams and not get roundly criticized. They would have been. And again, I think that ultimately helped move them off the Josh McCown position into a candidate in Lovey Smith who was not even on their initial interview list and somehow came to be a primary leading candidate this weekend. Right. After the lawsuit, right? So, again, there's your most direct evidence. Well, and it would appear then that, that Lovey Smith doesn't stand on very firm ground, does it? I mean, if, 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 you're, if you're hiring him so you don't get cr criticized, what do you buy time for a year to hire McCown next year? I mean, what have you accomplished then? Well, I think Lovey Smith is in the situation that most NFL coaches are in. You win or you lose your job. Yeah. So it's no different in Houston than it is in Jacksonville or Carolina or Atlanta or any city you want to name. You win in this league, you keep your job. You lose, you don't. And I don't know if there's anybody that expects that the Houston Texans are going to be winning on any kind of regular basis anytime soon. Man, there's only 32 of these jobs, which is why it, it, even if David Culley knew that he might not get much of an opportunity in, in, uh, with the Houston Texans after a, spending his life trying to, you know, get a shot, he took it. I, I get why you take him. Uh, yeah. It just seems you just <laughs> – the opportunity in, in many cases just isn't a, a very long window. We understand all that. Adam, uh, as I said, in, in California in advance of the Super Bowl this weekend, I appreciate you making time for me. Hey, Scott, if you don't like those jobs, you don't take them. But they do take them. They do like them. And that's the way it goes. I appreciate having me tonight. Thanks very much, Scott. All right, so the news of the Lovey Smith and Dennis Allen hires on Monday means that we're essentially finished with this offseason head coaching cycle. Viking spot blank only for the time being as Minnesota folks know what's going to happen. You can't make it official until after the Super Bowl. They'll hire Rams offensive coordinator Kevin O'Connell. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.